Imagaji closed down his agency to go all in on his personal brand. Alex Ramosi spends hundreds of thousands per year to keep growing his personal brand. And when you scroll on your social feed, it seems like Luke Balmer is everywhere. And this is not a coincidence. He mentioned himself that his team uploads about 10 shorts per minute. So you can probably see a pattern there. All of these people are heavily investing in content creation and building their personal brands. But then there is me. I don't spend any money on content creation. I do everything myself and I don't even speak English as my first language, but somehow as a kid from Eastern Europe, I managed to make half a million dollars in the past 15 months as a content creator. It took me about 500 days to reach 500,000 followers and make half a million dollars in profit. But today in just a few short minutes, I'm gonna explain you the entire formula you can use to grow your first 100,000 followers and start earning six figures per year as an online creator. All right, so everybody always talks about making 10K per month or $100,000 per year, but how does that actually look like? So let's break down 100K per year, which is technically six figures per year, right? To make that, you would need to earn $8,333 per month in profit. And that breaks down to about $277 per day in profit. So let's make this even more simple. If you are selling a lower ticket product for $50, you'd need around six sales per day to reach your goal. And if you're selling something for $100, you would only need three sales per day. And a $300 product would need just one sale per day. When you break things down like this, it becomes much more simple and less overwhelming. But there is a big myth that I don't agree with at all. A lot of the gurus are going to tell you to sell something for a higher ticket something between $2,000 and $5,000. And that is a viable option for sure. But how a beginner is going to sell something for $2,000 when they have not sold anything? I started my journey by selling a $9.95 LUT for color grading. And that turned into a $47 course and later on into a program slash community that I sold for $150. I eventually raised the price to 200 and then to 300. And during a Black Friday, Cyber Monday promotion with just that one product alone, I made over $60,000 that month. And to this date, combining this product and other offers, launches and sponsorships I did from my personal brand as a content creator, in combination, I made half a million dollars and I had no high ticket products whatsoever. So if you're a beginner, don't be persuaded and don't be pressured into thinking that you must start with, you know, two, three, four, five thousand dollar offer because it's going to be difficult for you to sell that. You don't have any proof that whatever you're selling gets results. So starting with lower ticket, I think it's much more ideal. Soon I'm going to show you the entire system for that and what would be the best options for you. But right now, let's focus on the platform. And there are a plethora of platforms to choose from when you're starting your content creation journey. And I created a ranking system that first gonna evaluate the platform where it's easiest to grow your audience. And then on the other side, I'm gonna show you the platforms that has the highest buying power. All right guys, so let's begin with the easiest to grow. So in my opinion, Instagram is the easiest to grow. Hands down, I grew two accounts on Instagram. One account has 200,000, another one has 500,000. It's the easiest because the short form content is going viral like crazy and can explode your page overnight essentially right tiktok as well tiktok is the easiest from uh not from my experience from what i saw i have not really grown a big tiktok what i see with tiktok is that it doesn't really convert a lot of people into following you and followers are completely irrelevant on tiktok right it's more about blowing up and just getting a lot of views on one specific video but you're not really building a, a strong community of connection there but it's definitely easy to grow. YouTube is definitely difficult to grow. You might roast me here because I seen some people talking about LinkedIn recently that LinkedIn became more easy to grow. So if you have experience with LinkedIn, let me know in the comments below. I'm really thinking on starting 
on that platform myself, but so far what I've heard is difficult to grow as well as X. Uh, I tried to grow on X multiple times. I was posting consistently. It just seems like you got either got to you know pay for some sort of promotions and it's very difficult to grow organically unless you get a lot of traffic to X from you know other platforms like Instagram. That, that's why I believe starting with Instagram is one of the best ways. And that's actually what I teach in creator world in my community right uh, I, sh I show you how to you know start with instagram and then maybe channel that traffic you know to youtube to email to even x right i have over thousand followers on x but it's nothing crazy and it seems like in order for me to grow i would need to heavily invest into marketing myself buying promotions or you know pushing traffic that i already built on instagram and still it's not that easy now let's talk about buying power so YouTube has a very strong buying power. So to put this in perspective, 10,000 followers on YouTube, it's like a million followers on TikTok. It's it's crazy, right? If you have 10,000 followers in a some sort of niche, some sort of specific niche that you're talking about, that could easily mean seven-figure business per year, right? I've seen people doing this a lot. There are guys that you don't even know that they're making money and they have three, 4,000 followers and they're getting 100 views per video and they're making seven figures per year. Because think about it, the, the more time you spend with, with somebody, right? You, you're gonna be more invested into buying something from them, right? So YouTube is a platform where you put out long form content, hence why it's a strong buying power. Uh, LinkedIn as well, LinkedIn, just think about it. Just because of the audience that there exists on LinkedIn, it's majority of professionals and they have a lot of money. So that's just you know what I've seen with LinkedIn. But then we go to Instagram and Instagram is very strong buying power as well, right? Um, and the beauty about it is that Instagram is easy to grow. It's one of the easiest platforms to grow and has strong buying power. Just using Instagram alone, guys, I made half a million dollars, right? Uh, all of the traffic I generated, I built an email list of 100,000 people and I made all that money just using Instagram with various type of, types of promotions, mechanisms that I'm gonna share with you in this video and all of that, right? So buying power is very strong on Instagram. The reason for that is because you are very deeply connected with your audience through stories. Stories is an amazing tool that you can use to sell a lot of stuff through Instagram. It's like an email list that you build, right? And you can always put out a story promoting something and you can always reach out to that core of your audience immediately. You can't really do this on YouTube. YouTube is like, you know, you put out long form videos and then you add some sort of call to action to for people to go to some sort of offer. Looking at how easy it is to grow on Instagram and how buying power, how much buying power there is, I would say Instagram is top one platform uh, weighting the pros and cons, right, out of this. The second one would be YouTube. And then, of course, X has a very strong buying power as well. Strong, right? And TikTok, from my experience, from people that I heard talking about it, from my friends that has TikTok pages there, it's not not good buying power for, you know, digital products, info products, coaching, all that kind of stuff. It's very good for e-commerce. It's very good for lower ticket e-commerce. People build and, you know, blow up e-com brands there. I had built an e-com brand organically on just on TikTok within my own country. It wasn't nothing crazy, but I just used organic TikTok marketing and I grew a brand that was doing five to $10,000 per month just with organic marketing. So for e-commerce, uh, you know, physical products, very good. For, you know, what I've seen with coaching and stuff, it might be a good idea for top of the line funnel attention to funnel it again to YouTube, X, whatever, but to use it directly for sales, not even comparable how powerful Instagram is compared to TikTok when it comes down to that, okay? And based on this data, I believe that everyone should start with Instagram. It's the hands down easiest platform to grow on and the audience there also has a very strong buying power. You can make six figures per year on Instagram with a relatively small audience. And as I mentioned, you can use Instagram to build other platforms that are more challenging to grow like X, YouTube, even LinkedIn. And my personal recommendation there is start with Instagram, 
and then use it to grow your newsletter, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a moment, and also leverage your Instagram to launch a YouTube channel. This is exactly what I've done myself, and I only recommend stuff that I've done myself. So while I may be biased here, I've seen the strategy work for hundreds of my students within my community. So first, we gotta grow your audience. We need those eyeballs and some momentum. Then, of course, we can put systems in place to monetize and automate it. So how do we get attention and that initial audience? Well, you can do it the hard way, trying to come up with original ideas and you know, banging your head against the wall for months or even years and getting no results and no traction. Or we can simply play the algorithm game and be smart. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna share with you the strategy I teach all of my students and you know, thousands of people use this strategy to literally start pages from complete scratch and grow 100, 200, 300,000 followers. As you can see, this guy is not there yet. He's one of the members inside a creator world. And I think he started just like a month ago or something. And he already is, uh, he already has viral videos. He's getting million views, 600,000 views. And now let's see, you're someone who wants to start in that in the fitness space, right? So again, you could do it the hard way or you can do it the smart way. So the smart way to do this thing would be to find creators like Rob, to find these smaller creators, to go to their pages and see, you know, it, it clearly indicates that this video has something unique inside that Instagram really loved and it, it got pushed out. You would compile videos like this that has, you know, million views, 600,000 views. This one works as well. 800,000 views, you know. You would compile a list of these videos and you would make your own versions of that. If, of course, you can do it, right? It de totally depends, right? If you have the same story to share or the same transformation you had, you know, you could add your own things on top. The, the, the key here is making the video unique to you but still keeping the same framework, still keeping the same, you know, hook, the same subject, the same storyline, and also the same length of the video. Not reinventing the wheel, but just using the framework, just using the format, and compile, like, if you do this with 20 new videos that you just started out as a brand new account, you would grow so much more faster than trying to come up with something just newer and original. And as you start getting that traffic to your account, you can slowly carve into your own niche, into your own style, right? What I would recommend you to do, even if you take, for example, this video idea, and you would say, you know, I'm gonna make something similar, instead of maybe using pictures the way he does it here, use videos. Instead of using this font that he uses, use a different font, right? That's how you change stuff, right? That's how you change stuff and make it a little bit more unique to you. But I can guarantee you this guy maybe found this idea, you know, from other creator or that creator found this idea from other creator. We all play this algorithm game. And in order, when you find some, some sort of creators like this that has a uh, small following, and the key here is to find them who have, you know, 50K followers and less. Don't look at accounts that has million followers because those people, what they're doing now is not what they got them there, right? And most likely it's not gonna work for you if you start doing what they're doing right now. You need to look at what small creators are being pushed right now and what content is being pushed for them because this is how you're gonna find the content that has highest chances to go viral for you as well. So you started growing, and now you're thinking, all right, how do I actually make money? Okay, I'm getting all this traffic, all this attention, and I get all my students a lot inside Creator World, for example. They're like, oh my God, I'm going viral, but now I'm not utilizing this traffic to make money. What do I do? And I'm gonna share with you the mechanism that you want to put in place in order to maximize uh, your monetization and also automate the entire process. And first thing what we want to do once we start getting views, start getting attention, is to turn that into an email list, okay? I view an email list as having an investment portfolio, right? And this investment portfolio is gonna yield much higher returns for you than any index fund, trust me. Let me show you the power of having an email list, okay? So here's one of the emails I sent to my list recently. As you can see, 
it generated over $2,000 in a single day. Now, Kajabi doesn't always track sales correctly, and I use Kajabi for my emails, because some sales might come later on that day. People can come to your website later, and on that day, I made around $3,000 in total profit. One simple email promoting a one low-ticket product turned into $3,000. So now, let me show you the entire system I use that you can just copy and paste within your own personal brand to automate the entire monetization process. Okay, so it's very simple, right? At the top, we have a traffic source. And of course, in my case, it's Instagram. And I also recommend for you guys to have Instagram because Instagram perfectly aligns and connects with the software ManyChat. And what ManyChat does, I've not seen anything of this combination yet effective to grow your email list. This literally can grow your email list to 10,000 subscribers in first week. It's insane. It's insane what I've seen that the power of having many chat in Instagram. And many chat simply, you know, I made a lot of videos about it in the past. And what it does, it simply just, you know, sends DM automations to the people that, you know, message you on Instagram and leave specific keywords. So the way it goes is on Instagram, if you follow me, you're gonna see that I, from time to time I put out story like this. And in that story I say, you know, uh, today I'm giving away 70 hooks that you can use for creating your reels. Reply with keyword database to claim your access right away. And I get a ton of replies, of course. But, of course, I'm not going out there and manually sending them an invite. Automatically the invite is being sent by the many chat, and then they go to the website that looks something like this, they leave their email, they leave their name, they get the product, and I get their email, right? I get their email, and that email is then being added to automated email sequence, which I'm gonna show you how it looks like in a minute, but now I want to share with you my best performing promotions for my lead magnets. So in this reel, I promoted a lead magnet. It's a lot, right? Just color grading a lot. So I put out a reel promoting a color grading lot and it got 1,800 comments right here, right? And this is the caption for that reel. But this story has been the best performing story for me when it comes down to promoting a lead magnet. It got 70,000 views in the first 20 hours or something. And this story alone is responsible for about 4,000 people that joined my email list that day, okay? So I've grown my email list by 4,000 more people just by using this story and many chat automation on Instagram, okay? So that's how you would structure the first thing. You would need ManyChat, set up an email, uh, set up a flow on ManyChat, and of course you would need to have a lead magnet. And lead magnet totally depends on your niche, right? Uh, it could be, you know, if you're a fitness niche, it could be something related to helping people lose weight, whatever. Whatever works for your niche, whatever would help and provide value to your audience, that could be your lead magnet. Right, uh, my recommendation here is just to check out your competition and other people in your space, what lead, ma lead magnets they use and use something similar, right? Because they work. So what's gonna happen when people go to that lead magnet, leave their email there, right? And they add it to an email sequence, right? And the email sequence starts sending them an automated emails with the main purpose to build a connection with that follower, to provide them more value, right? Tell some sort of story, and by the end of it, sell your paid product, okay? I'm gonna talk about how to create your paid product in a minute, but now let's touch on the email sequence. So I actually share all the emails that I used for all my email sequences, and one email sequence that generated $250,000 in sales automated inside the Creator World program. I share all of those email sequences with the members, so you can literally just plug and play those email sequences depending on your niche, of course. So you can just change it for your niche, for your product, right? So email one uh, is being sent two days later, and Kajabi allows you to automate this pretty well. Email two is sent four days later, email three is sent six days later, email four, eight days later, email five, 10 days, email six, 12 days later, and it sells the product, okay? Now here's the caveat. You're gonna, uh, of course, say, okay, so I don't have a product to sell, and that's totally fine, guys, okay? What I would recommend you to, for you to do, so you not get overwhelmed, start by creating content, right? The way I showed you, you find out ideas, create them, and start by focusing on first growing your account. Then once you notice that it's growing, develop a lead magnet, okay? Develop a simple lead magnet, spend a week developing that lead magnet, and just have it there, and just launch it, you know, using these story templates, using these reels, 
and promote it once per week via reels, via stories, and start building your email list at least, right? Just, just start building it, right? That's the only thing you can do. That's the best thing you can do, okay? You don't need to put out the sequence in place yet. You don't have a paid product, of course, so you don't need that yet. So just, you know, focus on that first. And as you're building your email list and you notice that, okay, my lead magnet is actually something that people enjoy, something that maybe even people getting results with, right? Then what you can do is you can, you know, say, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that lead magnet and turn it into a better version product that I can sell, right? And guess what? You already build up a thousand, two thousand email lists of people that already know, like, and trust you. So what's gonna happen when you develop that paid product? And the key here is not to spend a lot of time creating it. Just create a better version and make it really scrappy at first, but just better version of your lead magnet. Make sure it's something very similar to that lead magnet, right? So for example, if the lead magnet was, you know, a weight loss mini guide, create a, a weight loss community or community for people that want to lose weight. And you know, the benefit, the feature that you can add on would be your personal one-on-one -on -one support, right? So that could be just literally a paid product that you can launch. And then using that email list that you build up of 1,000, 2,000 people, just launch that paid product to your email list. You're gonna be, you're gonna have such a big advantage already because over this time, you build trust and connection with those people by sharing them value through your lead magnet, right? And what, and then once you launch that paid product, you can slowly build out a system in place of sequences. So whenever new people add it to this thing, they're instantly gonna get those sequences sent and your, your paid product is gonna be sold on the back end, okay? And once you have this entire system in place with a paid product on the back end, let's say your paid product is $100, right? You would only need three sales per day to become a six-figure per year content creator. Don't overcomplicate it, okay?